Coach, we'll start off with you. Uh, that last play with eight seconds left, uh, three uh, three point opportunities, one by uh, Monica. My Monica Brown, and uh, just let you go. Uh, can you just describe what was that design for Monica? And she was a little bit far out. I mean, the, the kids executed it perfectly. Um, we got Mona sh shot. I think maybe if step out, then probably we would have liked. But I mean, we, we watched Monica make shots from there a number of times throughout the year in practice and whatnot. And then, you know, a straight on shot from there is something I'll take from her, and I think her teammates would take from her every time. Um, and I thought Brandy made a great effort running down the rebound. I thought it was going to go out of bounds. She chased it down, got another shot, and then Heidi out hustled one of their guards and got us a third shot. So, I mean, I thought I thought they gave a great effort. They executed the plan. Um, you know, I Ken cut off it and took people with her. That's why Monica was open because Ken ran off the triple first, and they responded to Ken. Being the best three-point shooter in the conference, people tend to respond to you when you move, and, and she made a good cut, and they moved with her, and you know they executed. Kelsey delivered it on time, and just didn't get the results we wanted. Brady Brown, uh, she had her 14 rebounds, but only six points. She had three fouls after the first half, four fouls midway through the second half. Do you think that may, might have uh, hurt her in the way she played the game today? No, I, I think you know Brandy's done so much for us since I've gotten here, um, and I just I, I think it got to her. I mean, she's. She practices every day. Um, I don't think she's missed a practice since I've been here. And I, I just think that as the season wound down, she just started to get fatigued. Now, she'll never tell you that. Um, but, you know, I, she went and rebounded for us. She made a big layup for us with two minutes to go. Um, but, you know, for the last two weeks, she's just been a little bit less explosive than she's been all year. Um, but, you know, she's a kid that will work hard at it. And, and she's obviously somebody I'm very excited to have coming back next year. Overall, the season's over now for you guys. Um, what can you say about the uh, season? I mean, I think it's a little bit bittersweet in that, you know, there's one side of me that's very frustrated. Um, you know, uh, the, the recap's going to read something like, what, uh, Youngstown State hangs in and, and then they lose by three. And then Vogel's going to write something, and we're going to have 15 games where we lost or had the ball with less than a minute to go, and we weren't able to finish them. Um, there's another side of me that's really proud. Um, these kids hang in there. There were times in that game where it looked like it was getting out of control, and you can go back to every game that we did this in, and it looked like the other team was going to run away with it or pull away, and these kids don't quit. Um, you know, they're, they're resilient kids. They've been through a lot, They've been through coaching changes and philosophy changes. And, you know, they're, they're a group of kids that they didn't shoot. They're the best shooting team in the conference. They shattered the conference three-point shooting record, and they shot it awful the last two times, days we've been up here. But they still they step up and they shoot it like they're going to make it. Um, and that doesn't seem like a big deal. You think that's just a shot. but. That takes a lot of mental toughness to shoot the ball and not be afraid to shoot it, and they weren't. Um, they've grown a lot, and, and they're a lot tougher kids than our record may indicate. Okay, same question. The season, same as uh, Coach Bolden. Um, <clears throat> I think it's been a pretty good season overall. I mean, there are a lot of things that um, that they need, they can work on for future. A lot of mistakes that we made this season. They could kind of get in the gym and um, just do better than this year. Um, but overall, I think we've we've been um, been pretty good. Um, we've our shooting three point shooting percentage has been pretty good in the conference. Um, I mean, I'm proud to be on the team. I'm proud to have him as my coach for two years, and you know, just like that's over. But you know, I have things to work on to be better next season. Okay, yeah, going back to the game, uh, like as Coach Bolden mentioned, it was at one point it seemed like it was a little bit out of control, but you guys uh, fought back or, or like at least kept them. They were only down by seven or eight the most. Uh, what would you guys change or what did you guys do midway in the second half to make sure that it didn't get out of control and that you guys were able to fight back? Um, when it got out of control, we kind of we weren't in, in in the right positions and they were just having wide open shots. Whatever they just were doing, whatever they wanted to do. So we kind of went back to, I mean, what we were supposed to do, back to the game plan, 
and we kind of was able to get back and um, kind of um, make them shoot tough shots. But, yeah. Wynn had uh, 25 on Saturday. And you emphasized yesterday that you wanted to work on double the post. It seemed like that <coughs> worked pretty well. <coughs> Only made four inside the paint today. Can you just talk about your progression from that? Yeah, I, I think that goes back to their toughness and being able to make adjustments. I mean, that when you start looking at progress, that's something that we wouldn't have been able to fix last year. We'd have just been doomed again. Um, but you know, I thought, I thought they guarded her. I mean, for her to go six of fifteen, that's that's good defense. That's a first team All Conference kid. Um, and that's an area that we've had trouble guarding is, is post players. And, you know, to see them respond and really put in that kind of defensive effort, I thought the first half defensive effort and the last 10 minutes of the game, the defensive effort was, was fantastic. Um, so to see, again, it, it's bittersweet. It's good to see the effort. It's frustrating that it doesn't result and, and wins. And as Ken said, we've got a nice group of kids coming back and they've got plenty of things to work on. Can you just speak to the careers of the three seniors? And I know you're only here for two of them, but just kind of well, a statement. Yeah, and, I, and uh, I guess I'll share with you what I told him in the locker room. You know, Ken's progression as a shooter is awesome. It's something that we will continue to use. And she doesn't know this, but something we'll be able to use in recruiting for years to come. I mean, she's a kid that made 20, what, three, three pointers her first two years. And then this year made. You know how many? Seventy some. Seventy six, I think. Yeah, I mean, almost eighty three pointers, uh, almost four times as many three pointers, and it's nothing that we do except for providing an opportunity. I mean, we have a gun, we have a Noah, and she gets in and she works on it, and she started shooting the ball straight, and then she just started making shots, and she continued to work on it. Um, you know, she was a driver, a pull up jump shot type of kid, and she had to make an adjustment to making layups, and I thought, you know, Ken's ability to get to the rim this year was fantastic. Her, her two-point percentage went through the roof this year just because she finished around the rim better. Um, you know, Macy went from a negative assist-to-turnover ratio to leading the conference in assist-to-turnover ratio. Um, you know, that, that to me is fantastic for her kid, and that, you know, that gave us a chance to win so many games, even tonight, we shot the ball six more times than them, um, and we turned it over a lot. But throughout the year, we've shot the ball more than people because we've turned it over less than people. And that starts with your point guard and her delivering the ball on time. Um, and then I thought, I thought Tierra was really the epitome of a team player. I mean, here's a kid that shot the ball 200 times less this year than she did last year. And every time I put her in the game, gave a great effort. I mean, that's a situation where I think a kid could easily say, screw you, coach, you know, I'm not getting touches, I'm not getting shots. You know, you'll see it all the time in the NBA, right, when guys are getting shots and they stop getting shots and they're, they're upset they don't want to guard anymore. But, I mean, and her minutes fluctuated as much as any kid on our team. I mean, she played 30 minutes, she played two minutes, she'd go back and forth. And no matter what you did, you'd put her in, you knew you were going to get an effort out of Tierra. So, I think that shows a lot of character. I think they were good examples to our young kids on, on what the expectations are. And I thought they handled change incredibly well. Uh, you know, this is uh, coach and staff spends a lot of time with their players. You develop a lot of relationships. You know, the, the previous staff leaves, kids that, the staff that recruited these kids, coached them for a couple years, and then to have a new staff come in, you know, it's a little bit uncomfortable. You know, you wonder what this new guy is going to do, what the new assistants are going to be like. You like the old assistants, you don't like the new assistants. <coughs> but, I mean, these kids were on board and they worked hard and they really bought into what we were doing. Um, and I'm, I'm, I'm very fortunate to have them as a senior class and as leaders for the future of this program. Can you get back to you real quick? Uh, with this being the last game, uh, do you know what's in store for your future? Um, I'm not all the way sure yet. I'm kind of in between a couple of different ideas of either um, going into my field of social work or um, trying it of being overseas, so I'm not sure yet. Okay. Very good.